fine? I would like to thank everyone for coming out to the fourth annual Glass Half Full event. My name is Nick Tarleton, and it is with great honor that I share with you guys tonight that I am a graduate of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Now I have to do this. ILL? All righty, we got some people in the house. I graduated as the first African-American male with a bachelor's of food science and human nutrition since the College of Agriculture was founded in 1868. I am the first person in my family to ever attend and graduate from college. And I am often asked the question, Nick, did you know or did you believe you would achieve so much in the matter of four years of college? And I always take a deep sigh and a deep breath and respond, no. No, because of obstacles I faced starting at the end of my freshman year of high school. My family had always struggled to support me, always struggled to make ends meet, but during the two years of high school, everything fell completely apart. First, I came home one day and realized that my parents were getting a divorce. And I noticed this because half of everything in the house was missing, including one of my bunk beds in my bedroom. Without any warning at all to me, my father had moved out of the household and my parents were getting divorced. As a single parent, my mom struggled mentally, physically, emotionally, and financially. Second, my mother became physically disabled when she was cleaning a window on a warm summer day and the window fell on her finger and severed it. She was unable to work for six months. I went to school hungry, wondering how will I pay $2.25 for lunch? and had to choose days of when I would have to eat breakfast or eat lunch because I couldn't afford to eat both. Third, someone came knocking at our door one day of our home and they shared news with us that we had been foreclosed upon. My mother had to file bankruptcy. Yet I was still determined to find a way to persevere through high school and attend college. The summer of my sophomore year, I attended a four week research apprentice program at the University of Illinois College of Agriculture. I was introduced to the food industry. I helped to make Quaker chocolate chip chewy granola bars, I know it's a mouthful to say, a bit healthier than what they were, ultimately learning about the food industry. I had a great time learning about the food industry that I returned again to conduct a seven week research study at the University of Illinois on childhood obesity and genetics. After conducting research on childhood obesity and genetics, this was when I discovered my passion, the impact that I will have on the world. I was able to connect my family's health background. When I was seven, I lost my grandmother due to diabetes. I lost a grandmother due to kidney failure, an auntie who was still fighting kidney failure, an uncle who passed away due to heart cancer. This was when I discovered my passion. This was when I discovered that my passion would be ending childhood obesity and making the world a healthier and better place. I declared my major as food science and human nutrition during my junior year of college. I set a long-term goal to ensure that I would be able to educate low socioeconomic families how to prepare nutritious meals in the comfort of their home instead of feeding their children fast food restaurant food. With this passion driving in me, I invested more time into applying to college and scholarships. 
I knew that I had to find a way to get to where I am today. To this day, I remember receiving a phone call from Greenhouse Scholars. If you went on the Facebook page or the website, you could probably hear my mother screaming in the background. I had applied to 61 colleges and universities. I had applied to one scholarship a day, Monday through Friday. And Saturday and Sunday, I was applying to three to five scholarships. But I, just started, but I decided to start my journey at the University of Illinois. The first year of college was extremely difficult, being in a completely new environment, thinking about my mother back at home, being challenged. No, let me fix that. Finally being challenged when it came to my education and time management. Thanks to Greenhouse Scholars, I became a little, no, let me fix that again. Thanks to Greenhouse Scholars, there was no more stressing about college. Thanks to my Greenhouse Scholars mentor, Brian Weed. Brian, can you stand up and wave your hand? <laughs> Thanks to Brian Weed, who supported me more than my family ever has in the past four years. Brian has supported me throughout my entire college career and is still supporting me post-college. The first semester alone, sad to say, I pulled 40 all-nighters. <laughs> and Brian and I talked bi-weekly on a basis, and he told me, Nick, this has got to stop. And I told Brian, I promise this will stop. And in second semester, I put an additional 12 all-nighters. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Checking in with Brian every two weeks was the motivation that I needed to get through college. Listening, and little did he know, writing down the advice he provided in a notebook and having face-to-face -face check ins when I came home was the best. And of course, I couldn't forget to thank Janet Weed, his wife, for supporting me as well. With Brian and Janet Weed's everlasting support and love, I was able to get through college. Swami, one of my Greenhouse Scholar peers studying nursing at the University of Illinois, received care packages. It had baked goods, carts, and our very first pair of orange and blue socks. <laughs> this close friend, Marion Jablonski, who we met at the very first Glass Half Full event three years ago, and she's a University of Illinois alum herself. Ever since both Swami and I have appreciated the love and support the vegan Thanksgiving, and the back to school barbecue that she and her husband, Jerry Jablonski, have provided us, in addition to Sarah and Derek, two more Greenhouse Scholars that they have chosen to mentor. Please give them a round of applause. I honestly would not have been able to get through college without Greenhouse Scholars. And let me say this again, I honestly would not have been able to get through college without Greenhouse Scholars. As an only child, I have always wanted siblings, and I have those siblings. There were days where I felt like giving up, days where I felt like U of I was not the right college for me, food science was not the right major for me. There were days where it was just really, really hard. And I felt as though I had no one to talk to, but I had my fellow Greenhouse Scholars peers. Feeling uplifted by an article that Asiana, a Greenhouse Scholar studying English education at Illinois State University, shared on social media, or watching the shows that she hosts on campus, 
uplifted me. Michelle Crook, a Greenhouse Scholar alum who attended Bowdoin College. I always want to say Bowden, but it's Bowdoin. And she just recently graduated studying psychology, inspired me, even though she was miles and miles and miles away. My Greenhouse Scholars support system uplift and support me in ways that I never knew I could feel supported. The Greenhouse Scholars community has absolutely been one of the best things that has ever changed my life. The Greenhouse Scholars community has been invaluable in my endeavors to become a catalyst for change, as Pete mentioned. Through my chosen field of food science and human nutrition, helping to put on a trajectory of lasting impact that I never would have imagined possible. From enabling me to pursue prestigious internships at Cargill and McDonald's, the help of Flex Funding to help me live in Michigan to work for Cargill and McDonald's, and I have to say the financial support of my greenhouse mentors, Brian and Janet Weed, helping me purchase my first vehicle to get to Cargill and Greenhouse Scholars, to Cargill and McDonald's. Greenhouse Scholars has helped me pursue the leadership opportunities that have led me to be named the University of Illinois RA of the Year, Mr. University of Illinois, Outstanding Senior in Food Science Award, and the first person to be featured on the magazine, Story. <laughs> Greenhouse Scholars has been instrumental in the development of the leader that I am standing before you today. Please understand that Greenhouse Scholars is not just a scholarship organization. Greenhouse Scholars is a strong community of love, support, and family. This organization is a catalyst for building the leaders of tomorrow who come from different backgrounds and will have the ability to support other students and people who share those similar backgrounds. It is the only organization that wholeheartedly supports the well-being of under-resourced college students. Now let me tell you, as a Greenhouse Scholars alum who has gone through the program, there are many things that I have learned about myself. As I previously shared with our community tonight, the Nick standing before you was not the Nick he was four years ago. Nick was quiet. Nick was shy. Nick did not believe in himself. Thanks to Greenhouse Scholars, I have learned a lot about myself. Please listen to what I learned about myself very closely. I have learned to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know that even one life has breathed easier because I have lived and because I found Greenhouse Scholars. These are not only characteristics of succeeding, but these are characteristics of being a member of this vital community. I ask you, I ask you, I ask you, please consider joining our community. It could be through volunteering or something that I like about events like this, keeping in touch with the scholars sitting in the chairs before you. Whether it be by asking them, how was your semester? How is your week going? What ways can I, can I help you? Who can I connect you with? It would mean so much to us as a community. To the Greenhouse Scholars staff, 
the sponsors, and the community under this tent. Thank you for supporting each and every one of our dreams. Thank you.